this is just a quick overview of how I made some plexiglass windows for a deer stand. This is not the right way. This is not the best way. This is just the way I'm doing it. Um, I'm sure there are much better ways out there. Uh, back in the day, I made some plexiglass windows. Then I cut a couple grooves, uh, like two offset grooves. And I had some plexi in here and I had it sliding back and forth. Um, I do live in Wisconsin, so I realized that uh, with a little bit of rain or moisture, cold weather, that those would freeze up and they're you know, inoperable. So what I did is I built a permanent stand. It's out in the woods. It's done. It's completely tinned the whole nine yards. I have a rough opening for windows. I measured all the windows. Uh, uh, this is enough for two stands. I have two different stands built. Uh, pretty much the same. So uh, the rough openings, it's a rough a six by six stand. So I measured the rough opening and it's 62 and three quarters by, I think it was like about 30 inches. So I can build all these windows at home, carry them out to the woods and screw them in after the fact. So what I'm doing is I took two by fours. So this was 62 and three quarters, uh, obviously minus the three inches for the inch and a half on each sides. I gave it a quarter inch gap here a quarter inch gap in the middle and a quarter inch gap at the end and I will center these windows. Nothing is done yet. So what, what I'll do is I'll end up centering those windows and I will put a hinge here and a hinge here so I'll have two hinges and you can either mount the windows uh, this way so the window tips up or you can mount them upside down and the window could tip down. Uh, it doesn't matter but they're all going to be the same. Then what I'll do is um, let's just say this is hypothetically recessed both of these windows turn not to drop anything here uh, i'm going to put like a furring strip along the bottom and the sides of each window so it'll help keep the uh, the elements out and it would stop the windows from overextending on the hinges so that furring strip will be there you'd have hinges on the inside technically now it's inside because of the furring strip on the outside they would tip either up and in or uh, down and in and the, uh, this is obviously plexi in there already. So I have some windows made. What I did is when I made this this uh, this gap here, so the 62 and three quarters divided by two minus three quarters of an inch, I made that and I ripped them through the table saw. So all of these have one cut side. So this is my cut side. So I know they're all the same. But when I'm building my windows, here's what I'm doing. I have one channel all the way around and to help uh, center that, I have a small piece of plexi here. So I center that with my piece of plexi. I get this uh, this edge square the best I can. I will drill one screw in here. Don't go too far or don't, don't go in the middle here and don't go too far one way or the other because you do obviously have still the groove here. So I'll screw one screw and I'll just show you like so. So it's off centered on one edge all the way in. So I'll do that for my long edge into here i'll flip it around i'll do this edge so i have an open-ended window then i'll take my piece of cut plexi here you go take off the protective shields i'll slide it in all the way in and then i will attach another piece here with obviously cut side down and then i'll go in like so securing the window so i have one screw into all now that's not enough because there is just like a uh, two by two, give or take, hypothetically, with a groove down the middle. And I have about five eighths of, an, uh, of a cut to give it a decent amount here. But what my plan is, is to come back through, and again, this is just a hypothetical because I'm not there yet, and I'm going to take a piece of OSB or plywood or something of some sort, and I'm going to end up beefing up all the corners, and I'm just going to take my air stapler, and I'm just going to staple in this to beef these corners up. So you'll have, in the big windows, I'm doing two as opposed to one. Um, and you'll be able, again, individually open and or close them. And with the smaller windows where, like some of these are for the doors, etc. I'll just have one window that can flip up and or down. Um, again, I cut the grooves. I am, so with this one screw in the here, I am drilling a hole. And then I am countersinking it, and I'm just talking dumb because uh, sometimes we all need that. So I'm taking my drill, I'm pre-drilling it, I'm countersinking it to not split the wood because we're dealing with, obviously, pine only. Um, I'm not rich enough to do that fancy cedar stuff. 
And then I'm just taking, I'm actually taking three and an eighth inch uh, screws and screwing it all the way in. And therefore it sits flush. It's recessed a little bit slightly. And then I'm gonna come back through with that corner piece to beef it up a little bit. Um, and that was the cheapest I could, I could manage. Uh, I don't really have anything else for you. Again, this is not the right way, the best way. This is just the way that I'm doing it. And I hope that it sheds a little light on your project and whatever else you may be doing. Uh, again, Wisconsin weather, trying to make it the best I can to minimize movement, minimize um, the weather effects on some of this stuff. And this is what I have figured out. I did plan on uh, running a board up the middle here. Uh, I'm going to kind of recess this on the bottom, run them one straight two by four all the way up. It helps keep this whole thing true and square and also we'll close this gap from uh from the elements because i won't have that with the small thing the other thing that we'll, we'll do is if i have a two by four running straight up here and we'll just use this as an example let's say it's a full two by four what i thought about doing was cutting out either notches or having uh you know you can go as simple as a nail or something sticking straight out therefore if you're in the middle of your stand you can rest it on this nail or this nail, you know, you could have them three, four, five nails, and you could help balance your gun if you're not going to have the window completely open. So this window would be open. You'd have this two by four still in the middle of your stand, and you'd be able to, depending on the angle of your shot and your terrain, be able to rest your gun on a stiff nail or whatever it may be. If you wanted to do a, cut, a fancy cutout, but you got enough, got to leave enough room for your sights, obviously, and optics. That was my thought process there. We'll see what happens. Again, I'm just throwing this together. It's almost, almost, season's almost here, and here I sit, still uh, still messing around. So if you got any questions, let me know. I'll try and answer them. I don't get on the YouTube very often, but hopefully this helps somebody you know, in the future.